Welcome to Q&A Selling Online with answers to questions about creating an online empire, promoting products, or building a brand. Your host, private label and e-commerce entrepreneur, Quinn Amorm. Welcome back to the show, my friends. Today we have with us the Chief Growth Officer at Profit Wells, Mr. Vitali. This is a tech-enabled Amazon advertising agency. And he is obsessed with increasing profits for seven to nine figure brands that are selling on Amazon. And we have him here with us today. Vitali, how's it going? Hey, everything is good. Thank you so much. Thank you for your invite. Thank you for being here, spending some of this uh, holiday season with us. <laughs> and, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> the the so, day is perfect. The day is perfect just to get started in this way. So Vitali, you're, you're in the Ukraine right now? Yeah, exactly. Uh, right now in Ukraine, and uh, all our team members is also here uh, in Ukraine for now. Uh, we just finished uh, our office uh, building finally. Uh, so yeah, everything everything's good right here. Nice. I've I've heard that some of the best programmers in the world come from from that part of the world. Is, exactly, is and some of, some of them they are working in profit Wales. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to know. So tell us a little bit about you, about yourself. Okay, perfect. Uh, so yeah, uh, my name is Vitaly, Vitaly Hizhniak, and uh, I'm originally from Ukraine. Uh, um, I do, and uh, right now I'm working as a, a chief growth officer for the Profit Wales. Uh, the main, like, my, 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 the main idea that I do uh, is just to find the right partners and way how could we and should we uh, scale our business, uh, working with a clients exactly with a like big brands that we collaborate and to do like all our things, yeah, for growing their businesses. Uh, yeah, I, I a big fan of uh, like football and I really like it because uh, I have spent a lot of uh, time like when I uh, do my uh, university experience I have traveled around the Europe I uh, really love just to see and watch different matches uh, but yeah um, so, so something like that <laughs> nice yeah so you you when you say football it's the European football right what we call uh, soccer yeah. uh, uh, yeah, it's soccer. Yeah, it's soccer. Uh, and uh, I really a big fan of like the uh, English uh, Premier League and that the CSA, Manchester United club. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, so that's my uh, that's my number one sport too. As as you know, I lived in Europe for uh, over twenty years, so that is that's my my sport too. Of course, my, my favorite word like the Portuguese Premier League because uh, that European champions. <laughs> by yes. the way. <laughs> Absolutely. So what is what is Profit Wales? You talked about that. What is it and what is exactly what does it do? Uh, so the Profit Wales right now is the accelerator for the big uh, brands and companies inside the Amazon. Uh, we absolutely understand how to work with a PPC correctly and how to scale and boost your businesses. Our main clients that we do and collaborate, it's like seven and nine figures. It could be a brand management company who just work with the big brands and they need a help or strategy how to uh, create a PPC campaigns correctly in the right way. It could be a company that just acquire Amazon businesses or like purchase as a uh, perch or a trust or something like that. We also help these companies to find the right way how to work and to build a strategy correctly for boosting the scaling businesses. And like the typical Amazon sellers uh, who do it and want to create and uh, to use your like ad spend as the ad investments. Yeah, it's like one of our main ideas that we would like to achieve and we uh, do for our clients. So is it basically if I want to go to Profit Wells, it would be a software solution for me to manage my own or would you guys manage our, our accounts using your own software? Um, we use the software like only uh, inside, yeah, our company, and so uh, we do not like handle all your campaigns with that, with this help. Uh, right now we are like the agency. We uh, handle uh, like manually all your campaigns and uh, create uh, uh, all strategies and marketing research for that. So uh, when you just came into the board uh, to the profit fails, you will face with a team of guys who will do the marketing for you, the PPC specialist, the like 
like care team specialists who will communicate with you the business development. And uh, we use software for getting a clear data and make some analytics uh, yeah, inside. So we use it for analyzing the data and find the right trends and patterns on growing your business and uh, working with your exactly like Amazon business for uh, based on each product. Okay, got it. So uh, one of the questions that I have and one of the things that I often think about is how do somebody starting out, you know, the mom and pop that wanted to start an Amazon business and they don't have a big budget for, for PPC. How do those people can do anything in PPC these days? Yeah, that, that, that is a great question, you know, because uh, right now Amazon provides us with a lot of opportunities inside the Amazon, inside the PPC, exactly. Uh, we could do the sponsor products, sponsor display, sponsor brands, like in different variations of these campaigns. Uh, and uh, sometimes when uh, the Amazon sellers just begin their story, they do not have, for example, a brand registry to get started working with some kind of the PPC campaigns that we have. Uh, in this way, we recommend to get started working with a sponsor product uh, campaign and uh, be focused on the relevancy. Yeah, because uh, uh, the relevant keywords should be it should be exactly in your list that you will use. And we recommend to, to use a like uh, all, most of your most of your keywords exactly uh, in exact match type. Uh, you could use some broad keywords for just generating a new one keywords that you will add then uh, to your campaigns. And of course, the out campaigns that will help you to find a new clicks. So the, here's the, the, the first way that you should be focusing on. Now, uh, if you're like the beginner, it's like the long tail keywords. These keywords will bring you a high conversion uh, and uh, you will have a chance to compete yeah, with a not so high CPC because if the keywords will like top performing keywords as uh, like uh, the most competitive one, you will spend a lot of money and uh, you will just lose yeah, in the case of your, for example, conversion rate. So according to that, uh, like first rule that you could use absolutely to do the long tail keywords, yeah. Okay, so starting out, you have a small budget. Don't go after the high volume keyword. Exactly. Go after the high relevancy, the ones that if you basically do you have a look like a reverse ASIN and see what you already rank for. Like if you're close to page one for a certain keyword, does that mean you have a certain relevancy? You use those keywords? Is that yeah, uh, so, so, so something like that. Uh, sometimes uh, when you just begin your journey inside the Amazon working with the PPC, yeah, uh, the main thing that you are fighting for is to increase your conversion rate and to keep your number of sales here yeah, from the uh, ad, uh, from the PPC side, like from the, the ad sales. And uh, when you do based on the correct number like of ACOS of ad spend that you would like, that you prefer, there is a thing where you could grow, where you could invest into your your exactly uh, PPC campaigns again, yeah? You could expand them, for example, to increase number of keywords that you are targeted on, to add your competitor's essence uh, to your like pot campaigns uh, for, to, to be targeted on them too. And uh, of course, do not forget about uh, put here, like, yeah, adding uh, the negative keywords inside. It's really important because a lot of people do not like do it, yeah? And yeah. Uh, they just waste a lot of money on getting irrelevant clicks irrelevant traffic uh, so on the beginning you should be focusing on relevancy and understand that first of all you provide amazon with a correct search terms and you also provide amazon with a negative keywords that you do not like want to uh, be showing you your list and something like that oh, you mentioned the negative keywords and that's something that i want to i want to know your opinion when it comes to the bad performing keywords and we know that the that keyword is kind of costing us money. Mm -hmm. There's two ways that people have of doing this. One is making a negative keyword and you're done with it. And the other is some people defend the idea of not making it negative, but they lower the bid to a few cents and, and leave it there. Uh, so, so sometimes people just post these keywords. It's also the the option, yeah. When you like uh, these keywords will be like not active for you, and uh, we do recommend to make the analysis, yeah, about if these keywords will influence into your traffic. Because we have a situation when people still on Amazon they have a the same keywords in different exact match types, yeah, or in different match types, like the exact the broad and phrase, uh, these same keywords, and it's also not like correctly. And if you will, for example 
post one of them, uh, you will get a traffic for another and you will every time compete with yourself and you will every time increase your CPC. It's one of like not, not correct things that you will do. And if you will add it as a negative, you will not like solve this problem, yeah, still. Mm. Uh, so uh, here is the situation when you do the, like when you just want to get started working with your PPC and you do the analysis, you absolutely could divide your keywords on relevant and not relevant, yeah, keywords or number of keywords that you do not want to add, yeah. Uh, into your words that people could type just for uh, for fighting yeah uh, your product and about about that uh, we recommend absolutely to add to negative keywords uh, or post these keywords inside but do not like uh, stay down with a low number of cents because it will influence into your conversion rate into your clicks, you would like to decrease the, the rel irrelevant traffic into your listing. Yeah, for you, it's important to get like a, uh, for example, 60% of traffic that the Amazon could provide you with and convert, for example, 40% of this traffic. That that will be a pretty nice, pretty nice, yeah, to, to, to have such numbers inside your account. So every time you should fighting for uh, getting the relevant keywords, the relevant traffic, and then expand, yeah, like test. You could test different keywords, different match types about that, and uh, then maybe you will have a chance to start working with a placements too. Okay, got it. So I know Amazon loves relevancy, and that's why I asked you that question. Mm -hmm. Because I've often wondered if by leaving those keywords, you know, the, the people that reduce it to, let's say, 10 cents and just leave it there instead of two or three dollars, mm -hmm. if Amazon is going to measure the relevancy of that ad or the relevancy of that campaign, and those keywords would be in there kind of, you know, destroying that. So in case, I don't know, I, I, I do my own uh, ad relevancy, just and I wondered if, if Amazon would do it too, you know, it would. It would yeah, you, you know, you know, you know. Here's a really cool thing that you're absolutely right. In the case of that, Amazon really loved the relevancy. Yeah, Th that is exactly true. Because according to the relevancy, Amazon could catch like uh, to provide it with some additional traffic or something like that. But now we see that according to the attribution window that we use, uh, uh, like inside the Amazon for making some analysis or finding a trends, could we boost this uh, number, this product or not? Yeah, we yeah. do the analysis according to the brand analytics too and we see the number of the click share that the amazon could provide us with yeah and according to that we understand that okay we got it we could compete here we could grab some number of sales but uh the the main question will be do we have enough uh conversion rate according to our competitors is it okay for us to compete and will people just like uh, uh try to uh, choose our product yeah not like your competitors if you will start competing about that and uh of course the relevance is the relevancy is like one of the like top things that you should have and the second one is the conversion rate you should every time be focused on uh, like analyzing this uh because i have mentioned the placements yeah one of your keywords could really like not effectively convert inside the product pages like on the uh b below the uh all other results that we see yeah uh, somewhere on the middle of the search uh, results but maybe on top this exactly the same keyword could convert like in two or three times better yeah and you will have the same amount of traffic maybe when it will increase the the beat on like 50 percent or 40 percent but you will start converting yeah you will put into these keywords a new amount of sales because people will see it on the beginning yeah on the uh, on the top of the search results and they will just try to buy it and here it is here is the, when the relevancy will work with your conversion rates to, in like in one way got it so, you, you know, one of the things that Amazon says that normally the plural of something, it doesn't matter on their search, supposedly, um, let's say black headphone or black headphones should be the same. But I've noticed in ads, for example, um, that for I could have black headphones and I don't know, 2000 impressions, zero conversions and black yeah. headphone, five conversions. So five times the conversion rate without the S. How the heck does that happen? Do you have an yeah, idea? Yeah, um, 
we should we should just do the analysis because uh, it could happen. So we should just analyze your search term reports and to see what exactly search term the uh, the Amazon choose for showing your ad and what exactly was the search term that people just type to to get it. Because if you have a different match type, I say phrase or broad, it could be exactly like different. Yeah, you 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 will have a all of three or four different more keywords uh, to 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 be focusing on. If uh, the some uh, the these uh, things will not happen if you will use like the exact keywords here yeah? and after campaigns you will uh, the, the main things here when you do and uh, analyze all your campaigns is just to isolate all your keywords correctly for understand why you get the sales or why you do not get a sales where these keywords could work and where these keywords like not working for you at all and uh, about that we have uh, if you will uh, like go deeper into the profit rails we have a like patent uh, keywords uh, like sponsor product structure that we use uh, for most of our clients for all of our clients uh, for all the products that they have we create a from eight to 11 different campaigns that consist all needed keywords for exactly this product that will convert or converting well yeah inside this uh, all the uh, inside this niche and uh, we try to control the traffic that we get from Amazon and we provide Amazon with a, a some like conditions what traffic we would like to get and uh, you, uh, when we see like situation that you have explained uh, we like go deeper could, could we have like it? If not, we will add something into the negative keywords. We will change the match type and use like most of our match types that we use. It's like the exact, we do not let you use the phrase. Some of our campaigns use the broad just for uh, using like a black box. Uh, we use it uh, exactly with the help of the after campaigns that when Amazon provide us with a new search terms that we could use and that generate for us number of sales. Okay, that's a good one. And uh one of the things I've noticed, I've seen some people do this and I personally don't do it, but I don't know if there's a benefit or if it's just uh, what the reason is. I've seen ad campaigns that have exact broad end phrase, the same mm -hmm. keywords in the same ad, right? Not the same campaign, but in the right. same ad. What Do you do that? And if so, what would be one reason to do it? No, we do not do it. <laughs> okay. uh, we, we do not use this strategy because this strategy, uh, as I have mentioned, uh, not so effectively, yeah, as you could use or e as you could see uh, inside the Amazon sphere, I guess, like in general one. And uh, uh, we try to like divide uh, all the uh, campaigns and group them, like cluster them into the relevancy groups that you could see and you could follow, yeah? And according mm -hmm. to that, you will have a chance to optimize, to work with your beats or something like that. Because a lot of people, they, for example, do the budget limitations, yeah? They just, for example, uh, limit your like daily budget for the campaigns. We do the same limitations, but, but with the help of the beats. Yeah, exactly. Because it will help us to use all of your... Amazon opportunities correctly, yeah, mm -hmm. and to, to uh, start working with all your budgets and uh, provide Amazon with the info that, hey, Amazon, we have a really good and cool relevant product for these exactly keywords, and uh, we could uh, convert, convert, but with a low beats. Uh, would it work for you? And Amazon will provide you with not, not a huge number of traffic, but some of the traffic that you will have a chance to handle and to convert. Okay, so now tell me something. Getting a bestseller badge with PPC, yeah, is, is that possible? Of course, <laughs> okay. yeah. That that that, that, that is uh, that is a great question because uh, uh, we we practice it. Yeah, we uh, we understand that right now. When you start working inside the Amazon, uh, you absolutely should do the PPC. Yeah, if you would like to get some top results, something like that. Not all niches right now uh, they need like advertising or they still do not use the advertising. It could be so, but most of them are right now they start using the advertising like uh, more and more. And uh, we see uh, with a like uh, uh, week by week that uh, Amazon develop and to use and add some new features. Yeah, like monthly, uh, we got a sponsor brand videos. We got a sponsor brands as a general. We got a sponsor display, like a lot of them. And uh, we understand that if you do the advertising like not correctly, and if you do not have a one strategy for all these campaigns, you will do something wrong. Because uh, when we uh, when we like help our clients to get a bestseller page, we understand that we need 
to get as much as needed traffic and uh, convert much more than your competitors could do. And according to that, we try and uh, we uh, do a lot of like uh, the analysis before we start working uh, with all your like products and accounts. We analyze the niche, we find the right way where we could exp- like expand your number of sales. We will absolutely do the wide campaigns for your keywords based on relevancy, as I have mentioned. We will do and increase like your ad spend Exactly. And uh, after that, after that, we, of course, will go into the sponsor brands video for sponsor display. So we will use all the uh, opportunities that Amazon could provide us to do. And uh, all, all the things will be on like fighting yeah, for getting all these positions. So yeah, that, that, is ex- that is a really important step that you should do. Perfect. Now, Vitaly, you mentioned that you do, uh, uh, before even starting the campaign, you analyze the listing. And that's something that I often think about when it comes to the conversion of a sponsor products campaign. Mm-hmm. The only thing that people are going to see is they type, they search something, and then they're going to see the thumbnail of the main image. Mm-hmm. So, so that is something that influences the PPC. Yeah. So do you, you, lo- right. do you look at that and tell me, hey, Quinn, you, got, you have to get rid of that image because... Yeah, exactly. Oh. So uh, when we when we just start working with the clients, it doesn't matter is the beginning of our work or we just uh, work for a long period of time. We every time provide and do the, like the marketing recommendations. We uh, like every time we're on the market, we understand what could work for you bad or what could work for you good. And according to that, we just create an exactly uh, like uh, ideas. Uh, what you should change, for example, inside your listing for achieving these results. You're absolutely right that uh, when you're fighting for the best seller, all your things in a, inside the organic results, as a photos, as a title, bullet points, all keywords, backend keywords, uh, the videos, like all your content that you have should be like perfect. And we should understand that we could compete, yeah, with this product, like exactly. We could fight for some positions and we could work on increasing your uh, conversion rate, yeah, for getting more and more sales for you. And uh, we, uh, on the beginning, we do the like audit of all your PPC results and the uh, uh, only all your listings. Uh, we just analyze it in a case of is it good or not? Uh, what about reviews? Uh, what we need to improve? And we have like a list of recommendations for you based on like what you could do as a seller, what you could improve as a photos, titles, as I have mentioned and all the things and what we will do inside the PPC campaigns. We will provide you with the recommendations that we will analyze, we will show you the wasted spend, we will use you, we will show you the uh, wasted opportunities that you have and uh, have everything is working uh, according to that. Awesome. Now, what are some of the most common PPC mistakes that you see people do? And what are some of the mistakes or some things that people should avoid doing? Yeah, you know, as I have mentioned, uh, uh, we just spent like, I guess, like around three years working with the different Amazon sellers. And uh, we do the, first of all, as an agency, then we uh, try to help people with uh, some kind of the software. Right now we do like the agency plus software, uh, combining the human plus software approaches. And uh, we understand that a lot of people, they use a like, a really old structure inside their Amazon PPC. They still do the broad, exact, and phrase uh, keywords uh, for exactly the same keyword that they have. And it's not correct. They just compete yeah, with themselves, as I have mentioned. They do not like use a negative keyword. It's just for sorting the traffic. Or for example, they uh, do not like, yeah, exactly provide uh, the auto campaigns with some negative keywords. It's also the, the problem that people do and they uh, use it a lot. And uh, most of the sales uh, sellers, they still do not use a sponsor brands, sponsor display campaigns, but right now it's a perfect time to get started. It's like a great way for get and boost your sales with the additional uh, tools that, that, that Amazon provide us to do. And uh, we, we like mentioned it every time. Yeah, and most of the sellers that right now just do and start their Amazon businesses, they thinking about that on the beginning. They start working uh, and start develop the brand registry, for example, or uh, just uh, create a video content for advertising, for like pushing all their uh, businesses uh, inside the Amazon on like for 100%. So yeah, that is a main mistake that we have mentioned. Got it. So uh, t- launches with PPC, 
Uh, somebody that's not doing anything externally, they're not doing any Instagram, no Facebook, no influencers, mm -hmm. only on Amazon. They launched the product on Amazon, brand new, zero reviews. And now what is the strategy to, if you, they want to do that launch with PPC? Is it uh, just go full broad and auto campaigns and let the budget go to two or three hundred percent ACOS? Uh, no, I, I guess no. Uh, I guess uh, I guess no. Uh, so what what we do and what we provide, uh, like uh, the Amazon sellers on the beginning, uh, if they would like to get started with a, a PPC, uh, the first one that they need to understand, uh, they uh, when they use the PPC, or they just work with a traffic and that's all they just buy a traffic into their listing uh, from from amazon site and that there is a point why all people use the ppc mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if you understand that your listing is not ready like finally you still working on title still working on photos on video or something like that uh, please do not like do the ppc because uh, you do not have a right understanding, have everything working for you. Also, we provide uh, like most of the Amazon sellers with the right understanding based on their business reports that they have uh, and try to double check your conversion rate that you have now. Yeah, if you just start, if you start working with the reviews, what is your conversion rate? Is it like lower than 5% or like seven or 15 or 10? That is not so good. Yeah, that, that is a thing that you should improve. There is a thing that you should work on. You should just launch first. You should launch your products like organically and then push it with the help of the PPC site. Because uh, uh, on the beginning, you have a lot of time working on the product, exactly uh, like a niche one. Uh, you should uh, work if you should just increase number of reviews, for example, up to 15 or something like that, that will help you to find a new opportunities just for uh, boosting it. Yeah, just for uh, scaling uh, your PPC advertising. Exactly. So after that, you should just come back and uh, do the, as I have said on the beginning, the relevant uh, PPC campaigns with the top performing keywords for you or like long tail keywords that will exactly will be relevant and will provide you with a high conversion uh, sales. Perfect. And I also know that you have even maybe before being on uh, the profit well side, you were, you did uh, marketing before and, and you, you know, Google ads and that stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, when when launching, I, I always tell people that every help you can get is going to be beneficial, right? Any traffic you can get to Amazon, to your listings is beneficial. But even if it's not on a launch, uh, do you find that if, you're la if you have Google ads that, let's say, are not directed to your Amazon mm -hmm. side, let's say you have Shopify as well, do you find that there's a a drip of that traffic that goes to Amazon uh, mm -hmm. because in, on Amazon, normally people have more trust. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we have spent a lot of time with our like uh, top 50 Amazon sellers that you could see and uh, they have like an ideas and strategies when they uh, focusing on another, uh, like the multi-channel approach, yeah, when they uh, use uh, and get the sales, not only from the Amazon site, but from for, with the help of the Facebook ads or Google ads or something like that. Uh, th that could be a point when you're absolutely sure that you convert a lot inside your Amazon. Yeah, when you understand that you like the best inside the niche, uh, you get a best seller tag for a long period of time. You understand that uh, you have launched all needed campaigns as you could do. And uh, you you just cover yeah all the click share that Amazon provided with uh, and you convert all the things inside to the sales. Uh, why it's so important? Because uh, if we have some external traffic from somewhere, uh, you will you will get exactly you will get uh, like additional impressions. You will get additional clicks, but it will influence into your conversion rate. And if you will do it like not correctly, and people will just click 
watch uh, and uh, do not do a sales, do not like convert, you will influence into your conversion rate. And uh, if uh, if the game is like important for you on fighting for the best seller uh, tech or to keep uh, the best seller tech for a long period of time, uh, that could just cost you money. That could be a not profitable. Yeah, you mm-hmm. will get maybe some additional sales, but you will destroy your conversion rate. So. Uh, we are focusing on like uh, exactly like channel approach. Uh, first of all, yeah, you should use and you should understand that all the Amazon traffic you convert well, you get like everything is good and everything is clear for you. And then let's find additional ways where we could get a more traffic. And uh, that could be a point, yeah. Perfect. So Vitaly, tell us now for anybody that's listening, where would they go to hear more about you to find out more and to even find profit whales uh you could use any social media that we have uh, the facebook the linkedin uh you could uh, reach me exactly like uh, my pages as vitali hirniak uh i guess we'll have a chance to add maybe some links or just uh, go into our website as a profitwales.com and uh, you will have a chance to find the contact us form and uh, all social media that we have Perfect. And also you could double check the uh, or the podcast that we have exists too. <laughs> it's also the, the way how you could reach us. All right. What's the name of the podcast? Uh, the, the name of the podcast? Yes. Uh, the Dr. Amazon podcast. Dr. Amazon podcast. All right. I'll have those on the show notes in case <laughs> in case a lot of people don't know how to spell Hezniak. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. I'll have all the links and of course, profitwales.com. That one is easy. And then I'll have your LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. I'll post yeah. your phone number, <laughs> your address. I'll put everything. <laughs> Got it. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Vitaly, thank you so much. And uh, this was uh, very helpful. And thank you. Yeah, Queen. Thank you so much too. That, that was amazing.